Hello and welcome to today's session where we'll learn on moving APS to another region or availability zone. So first of all let's discuss what is EBS. EBS is Elastic Block Store. It is an easy to use scalable high performance block storage service designed for EC2 Amazon Elastic Compute. In a typical use case, using EBS would include formatting the device with a file system and mounting it. EBS supports advanced storage features including snapshotting and cloning. You can attach an EBS volume to any EC2 instance in, a, you know, in the same availability zone where your EC2 instance is. You can attach IO1 and IO2 EBS volumes to, to 16 Nitro based instances. Here are the steps to move EBS to another region. Well, I will show you from Amazon console and we'll, uh, you know, we will do a hands on session for that. But here it is, here are the steps like moving between availability zone. It is uh, recommended, you know, to stop EC2 instance and you can create a snapshot and from that snapshot you can you know, create a volume and choose your availability zone where you want to you know, create that EBS volume. You can change the volume type and size okay, while you create a volume. You can also enable encryption and uh, the next one is for moving between regions. So from the actions you can copy and select the copy option, you can select the region and the next is you can create image from that EBS snapshot. So I will uh, walk you through from the hands on session and I will explain each step. So here I am logged into my Amazon EC2 management console and uh, under EC2, uh, so here is my 8 GB volume that is created. It is available in AP South 1A, which is in Mumbai, in a region. So what I'll do is I will create a snapshot. As you can see, it is not encrypted, non-encrypted volume. Okay, so I'll create a snapshot. I will uh, a snapshot. Something like this. I'll tag. created a snapshot and under snapshots as you can see the test snapshot Mumbai is available so what I'll do is I'll just uh, create a new snapshot as you can see my current volume is in AP South 1A I'll create a volume in another region uh, uh, I mean in another availability zone from this snapshot so click on create volume you can select availability zone as 1B. You can also encrypt the volume. So select a master key as default and uh, name encrypted one B. Okay. at the volume. As you can see, I have created an encrypted volume in another availability zone. 1B is the volume that is available. Okay, now let's create a volume from this snapshot in another region. Let's say I want to create a new volume from this snapshot in uh, US 
let's say in Singapore region okay so from the snapshot click on copy you can select the destination region from over here as Singapore I can encrypt this snapshot as well using the default master key and click on copy so this is gonna copy the snapshot in another region in Singapore so as you can see the new snapshot has been copied over here and and the volumes we don't have any volumes over here so from this snapshot we will create a new volume okay HGB you can also modify the size over here along with the volume type and availability zone as well so AP South 1A and since the snapshot was encrypted you don't have any option to you know disable the encryption for this snapshot for this volume so I will keep the master key as same and I will add a tag okay and I'll create a volume and now in the volumes if we go as you can see this new volume has been created with a name Singapore encrypted snapshot from the Singapore encrypted snapshot okay so this volume is available and ready to use so that's it from uh, for the EBS session today today I showed you how you can you know create a snapshot along with that create a volume from the snapshot encrypt a snapshot from an un encrypted volume along with that uh, we also saw how you can copy uh, your snapshot to another region and create a volume from that so that's it for today's session thanks for watching do like and subscribe my channel i'll post more videos soon thank you